Welcome to Hypo Brew. I'm Tom Brennan. Today I'm going to show you how in the summer months I cool down my wort because the groundwater where I am is really pretty warm and I need to drop down that temperature as quickly as possible. I have a wort chiller. I have a chest full of ice packs. I also have a pond pump and I'll show you that. And when I'll, Oh, and a couple of hoses. And I also have a hot day to brew with. So let's go ahead and show you how that works. Uh, first off, I want to show you my the current setup I have and then show you how I modify it halfway through chilling. The first item is that this here is my faucet hose. Um, so it's going in then to a vinyl hose, which leads up to the wort chiller. And then from the wort chiller out, the exhaust, if you will, or the business end, as I like to call it, uh, leads out to the street. Showing you the dry setup, I have just a normal cooler here with quite a bit of ice packs. You could use ice. I've actually even refilled a plastic, like you know, a two liter bottle of soda and fill it with water a couple days beforehand and then freeze it. You could do that too. And then slice the plastic out. And then the other thing, the key component of this is just a pond pump I picked up at a Harbor Freight or you know, a cheap tool store. 35 bucks. I actually just had to go to uh, my local hardware store and pick up this galvanized uh, hose uh, adapter here. Just to note, as I'm filling it up now, I try not to get it too far high up on the water line here because I want the water to be as cold as possible. And I'm just going to be recirculating, so there's really no need to fill it up all the way because you're not going to be wasting anything. So, uh, alright, I've gotten some pop in here of my, my ice pack, so uh, let me get to starting up the pump. Before I turn on the pump, I just want to show you that I have the, the water, and it's it's still actually dropping the temp, um, but it's at 68 degrees. The output of the green hose here, which is getting into it, was 81 degrees. So I'm dropping already 20, and it, of course it jumps, uh, 20 degrees or so. And all I did was just hook up the vinyl hose adapter here from, uh, from my hose, and I put it into the pump, and then that is leading into the wort chiller. I have the pond pump going now, and I'm just trying to take a reading, a temperature reading. It was 81 degrees just a few minutes ago, the output of the pump, that was coming from the faucet, and now coming from the cooler, it's at, uh, what does that say, 72 degrees? Something like that, 73 degrees? Not too bad of a drop, so I've dropped it already 10, 10 degrees. I'm gonna put this back in here, close this up, try to keep it cool. And I also want to let you know that I have this hooked up to a GFI. So this way, uh, actually it's back to my, my pool pump back there. But having it hooked up to a GFI is very important because you're dealing with water and electricity, which we all know don't mix, right? That's right, guys. Okay, in about 45 minutes, I was able to drop the temperature of my wort from the you know, boiling temperature to about 78 degrees, which is perfect for the Saison yeast. I didn't use a whole lot of water, and I probably should have actually switched over to the cooler much faster, but I was just having a lazy day and I just wanted to hang out. But I didn't use a lot of water. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget, you can find me on my website at hypobrew.com. You can follow me on Twitter at hypobrew, and you can also check me out on Tumblr, hypobrew.tumblr.com. Until next time, guys, happy brewing.